Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. He is with her. What the hell are you doing? What? what? Your name's Stephanie? Yeah. You told me you weren't messing with her anymore. What the f touched it's me? Okay. It wasn't what you Everybody asked. sees that you're a hoe, you and you're a hoe, too. Don't, don't tell her. I don't like her. I don't love her. Little ass boy, that's what you are. Get the hell out of here. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. It's just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hey, me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get up, get up. Get up. Real Reality Television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Greetings, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to this episode of Cheaters. Meet Michelle Brissett, a young lady who suspects her boyfriend is reverting back to some old habits. Wanting to confirm that his excuses are genuine, Michelle contacts Cheaters for a second opinion. Michelle Brissett age 21. A receptionist worried that her boyfriend is taking calls from an old flame. Eric and I met two years ago at a party and when we first met everything was so great. Eric was the nicest guy in the whole world. I was in love with him and we did everything together. Now his work is his first priority. I'm always his second priority and whenever he promised me that we were going to do something Work always calls. He has to go fix somebody's AC or heat. And when he gets home, he's tired. So we don't ever even see each other anymore. Three months ago, I was over at Eric's and I had cooked him supper and we were watching a movie and I did his laundry and I found a girl's number in his pocket. And he told me that nothing was going on, that I could call the girl and ask the girl. So I did and it was some girl named Stephanie. And they were supposedly had a little thing going on the side or whatever. and. Me and Eric split up for about two weeks after that, and he begged me back, and he promised me that he wasn't seeing that girl anymore. I've given up my whole life for him, and I trusted him so much. I just hope and pray he's not cheating on me, because if he is, it's over with. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Eric Henson, age 22, an air conditioning salesman who may be blowing his girlfriend full of hot air. Investigation day four. After playing the waiting game for several days, Cheaters makes a break in the case and spots the elusive suspect at his apartment. Eric Henson is a hard man to pin down, but Cheaters is relentless in its quest to seek a quick resolution. Eventually, suspect Henson and an unidentified female come out of his apartment. Initial indications of infidelity are documented as he puts his arm around the woman in a more than friendly manner. The two then hop into the companion's car and zoom off down the road. After aimlessly cruising around town for a while, the unknown female pulls into a local putt-putt golf park. The two walk arm in arm, nonchalantly wandering into the entertainment center. After setting up to tee off, the female companion initiates her backswing, nearly crushing the suspect's leg. All is forgiven, though, as she apologetically leans in to give him a softer stroke. They spot a desolate cave nearby and pop in to hibernate for a while. After getting their fill of some bare necessities, suspect Henson and his gal head over to the batting cages. First up is the female companion, who gets some valuable swinging tips from Coach Henson. Although she strikes out at the plate, suspect Henson hopes to hit his home run a little later in the evening. Next, the athletic duo retreat indoors and decide to shoot some hoops. 
After skunking suspect Henson in the game of one-on-one, -on -one, the exhausted companion and her hero head back to her car. They make a beeline for suspect Henson's apartment and quickly scamper inside. Cheater scouts presume that any indication of fidelity is being slowly ruled out. Investigation Day 7. P.I.s catch a glimpse of the female companion paying suspect Henson a little visit. She is now positively identified as Stephanie Dye, who scrambles toward Eric's front door as if she were late for an appointment. A short while later, the two hop into her car, and companion Dye puts the pedal to the metal. Apparently, they're late for a movie. She quickly pulls into a theater parking lot. A couple of hours pass before the movie buffs exit the theater. The suspect gallantly opens the car door for his pal. Cheaters' crews document the mischievous conduct and jet back to headquarters to review the current data. Investigation Day 8. Detectives wonder if the suspect ever works. He once again hooks up with companion Die for more fun and games. Suspect Henson and his companion stop by a local Bennigan's to fill up with an appetizer and some cocktails. The suspect obviously gets a kick out of fooling his girlfriend, as referenced in a recorded telephone conversation. A final kiss is the last straw. Cheaters detectives are fully aware that the evidence will be difficult for Michelle, but comprehend that the bad news may bring some degree of relief. After the break, the confrontation. With Michelle's suspicions proven true, cheaters must now reveal to her the unfortunate findings. Eager for a release from her misery, Michelle cautiously takes that step into the unknown. How are you doing, Michelle? I'm not so good. I just want to find out the truth. But we got you the truth. And I want to go ahead and bring you up to speed on your case. On this day of investigation, we followed this guy that says, that you're his fiance. It's a pet pet. You recognize this girl? Kissing his arm around her. This is the guy that says he loves you. This is the guy that. How did he do this? That lets you sit at home and cry and tells you he's going to work when in fact he's not. And she's going guy, in? She goes into his apartment. Another day of investigation. She comes over to his house, picks him up. That's her car? Yes. It's an out-of-state license plate from Michigan. That's where she just moved? That Stephanie girl just moved from? Yeah, that's, this is her. This day they went to the movies. Our detectives followed them back to his house <laughs> where she... <coughs> I know, it's, it's just ridiculous. The third day of investigation. Here they are going to a local restaurant. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then go back to his residence. I've got to make oh a call. Oh my gosh. There you go. That's what, that's what he's doing. Why is he doing this? Tonight, after he left you to go on that call, he's with her. I knew it. Do you want to talk to him? Yeah, yeah, I want to see like her to and I want to see him. Yeah. Let's go catch them. Right now they're together. You know where they're at? No. They're at the Putt Putt Golf Course. I got, I got a visual. Where are you located? Okay. Yeah, you'll, you'll pull in here and go around to the back because they're inside the facility now. It's crazy. Okay. Roger that. Okay. Just come right here with me. We're coming to the front door now. 
Okay, we're coming. We're coming. Meet me at the front door. I'm out. Go, 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 go. All right, let's go, right? Where is he? He's up here. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Hey, 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 come on. Don't hit. What? Who is that, Eric? That's a friend. What's your name? Is your name Stephanie? Yeah. I'm What's Michelle. The name? Do you remember talking yeah, to me? Yeah, we talked. Yeah, no, you what? told me you weren't with him. Hey, what? Don't 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 he wasn't with you. I thought you weren't with him no more. Hey, no, Eric, you explain what you've been no, doing. No, get off me. Explain don't. Don't. I didn't do nothing. What are you doing with her? She's a friend. Didn't you tell, didn't I you seen tell her you were going to work tonight? Y'all were kissing. Y'all went to the movies. Y'all been. How can you do this to me? I didn't do anything to you. How could you do this? I did You're supposed to be at work? Aren't you supposed to be at work? Well, How I'm could so you do this you. to me? You told me that you, you love me, Eric. I do love you. You told me you weren't messing with her anymore. Oh, and here you are again. Tell her, tell her you're not messing with me right now. Here we are. Tell us both. Tell her you ain't messing with me no more. Tell her. Can't even hey, tell her. What about the fact when you introduced her as your fiance to your family? Did, what did, was that about? Does our friends, do they know about this too? Have you been hanging out with any I, of their do friends? Do they know, Eric? I know all his friends. No. You know? cheat on me. If you love her, then what is this? How could you do that to me? I have surveillance footage of you. And why are you telling me that y'all aren't sleeping together anymore? You made a job in number two. I just told you. I know, and he told me that you're crazy. Is that the way you treat someone you love? I don't know. Your mother treats you, teach you how to treat me. So get lost. I'm already lost. I don't want nothing to do with you. Appreciate Coming up next, the conclusion. Sleeping with her, what is what is love? Does that, what is that? That you go and you bed I down with this girl? To be honest with you. Somebody else had the decency to tell somebody. That's fuck. You ain't even mad. You and I. No, no right? this is between all between three. Yes, it is, because you brought me in this situation. You want to call me? You thing, call right? me. I'm talking to my fiance. Thing, we've been together all you want to call me your fiance, but you want to sleep with her? What kind of is that? What kind of is that? Little ass boy, that's what you are. Well, you was. Talking to you, all right? So so with you? Well, you want him to leave with you? Hell no, he ain't going nowhere. No, he ain't me. leaving with. I don't even. Ugh, forget my number. Don't. Well, then get the hell out of Fire here. Fire up, God. Fuck Dude, you. Get the hell you out a smart bitch, you wouldn't be in his ass either. Because if you get once, mm -hmm. you get once. I already know that. Why the fuck with the No, I'm not. I'm not going back with you, Eric. Baby, I love you. As, as hard as this is for me, I'm not going back to you. I promise you. I love you with all of my heart. Do you tell her you love her too? No, I don't love her. Well, if she's over there, I want to go ask her. No, I'm going to ask her, Eric. No. Stephanie. What? Does he tell you that he loves you? No, he don't tell me. We've only been together for like two months. Oh, wow. Eric he told me he about me. something. I don't love her, all right? And look, Eric, I don't want you calling me. I don't want you calling my work. I don't want you going by my parents' house. I, don't, I want you to stay away from me. Stay away. I'm dumb. Here's what we can do. I'm going to have one of the detectives give you a ride home. You've done it. You've done enough damage here tonight. Come on, let's get you. Let's get you back in the car. I hope things work out for you too. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Uh, we need keys. John, we need keys. You all right? I'm fine. He wants his cake. He's sick in his head, man. 
We both deserve each other. Come on, let's get you. Feels better to know. Yeah. After the confrontation, Michelle's apparent confusion is compounded by the pain of infidelity. Later in the show, Cheaters reveals the sordid details. But now, Cheaters takes a look back at Devin O'Canis, a musician presented on a past show for her infidelity. Having had time to let her feelings settle, Devin returns to give Cheaters a full account of those impassioned events. Devin O'Canis, age 36. Devon accepts Cheater's invitation to give her perspective on the event surrounding her confrontation with Alan Corsi. When Cheater's van first pulled up on us and like 20 people jumped out, we were just like shocked. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if it was a joke or what, candid camera or something, I didn't know until I saw Alan. Come on, Alan. Yeah, so this is the woman you've been Keep now, alive, been right? standing out with all the time, huh? What is the deal around here? What are you about? Who are you? There were cameras, microphones, lights everywhere. I couldn't get out of it. It's like the rat had been caught. <laughs> I just want her to tell me it's not true. The hey, talking about your Can you story. look him in the face and tell him it's not true? true. Can you look him in the face and tell him it's not true? He couldn't have got a hold of Alan if he tried. There were so many people there. Security was like, you ain't going, <laughs> you know. He got him in a headlock. It was crazy. I don't understand this Get the away from me. Let me. The Obviously, he didn't. Hey, 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 calm down. Sorry. I'm hey. sorry. I don't want to oh, say. I was going to tell you myself, he's... not like this. Oh, yeah? When gonna were you going to tell, tell me? I was going to tell you at the end of the month, when? man. The... Not tonight like this. Oh, at the end of the month? Yeah, I'm what? moving in with him. Supposed what? to be, you just that all up. I was busy doing my little scheme, you know? I was trying to get more band equipment and living rent free, and I wasn't ready to move in with him yet. I just wanted to get a few more things, and I was just, I don't know, being greedy, I guess. So good. You're not leaving! Stop the car! You're to me! Ma'am, get off the car. I wasn't going to let him take off of my car, you know? And so, I don't know. I saw the, you know, butt shot and everything, but... <laughs> I don't know, that was crazy. I just wasn't going to let my car go, you know? I don't want to be back with her. I mean, I saw another side over there a while ago that I didn't know the... The screaming and the yelling and the... It was the pretty ridiculous. Uh, the two timing with no remorse. It's kind of, <clears throat> as far as patching things up with Alan, it's like, it's kind of hard to patch things up with someone after you've burned them, you know? After you've done them so wrong or whatever, but it's just best that, you know, we, I did go to him and say, you know, can you forgive me for what I did? And he said yes, and it's just better that we just stay, you know, apart and... That was it. I got my stuff and I left and I've been with Lon and we're happy. <laughs> Following the emotional confrontation, Michelle made it clear that she needed some time to sort out her problems. She now states that her love for Eric is very strong and that she would have a hard time if they ever called it quits. She also said that counseling is a viable option and would probably open up lines of communication. Eric Henson says that getting caught is the worst feeling in the world. Eric admits knowing that he's not doing the right thing when he cheats, yet he offers no sensible reason for his actions. He expresses a deep craving to stay with Michelle and will do whatever it takes to achieve forgiveness. Stephanie Dye was happy to talk with Cheaters producers and is pleased that her face will be shown around the world. She said that she's always wanted to be on the big screen and is hopeful that some prominent directors will notice her. Producers had trouble getting her to discuss the case and her involvement in it. Ms. Dye expresses a deep interest in moving to Hollywood where she will one day be a big star.